Time interview with President Biden, he says when he was asked if Israeli forces have committed war crimes in Gaza, he says it's uncertain. The fact that he did not say an outright no, don't you think that's something that the State Department should consider launching an atrocity determination on? So we do have processes ongoing to look at whether there have been violations of international humanitarian law. Is that's, that, determination well, one of them? I'm not going to speak to that in specific, but that's why the president says the answer to that question is uncertain, is because we don't know the answer. It's something that we have an ongoing process to look at and to try to get an answer to. But at this time, we don't know the answer. So you're just saying that we don't know if uh, Israeli forces have committed war crimes in I, Gaza or not. I, I you, would, you, said, you said we don't know. I, I would go a bit further and say that we said in the, we don't know the definitive answer to it, but the right. NSM 20 report said it's reasonable to uh, to conclude that they may have given the sheer number of incidents, but we need to finish these processes to have definitive answers to the question. So despite these uh, assessments, you think uh, there is no change in the U.S. policy to continue uh, providing arms to Israel? There is no change in our policy.